Hey guys, welcome back to The Dent Life. My name is Komal and in this video I'm going to be talking about, or vlogging, my second week of my induction. It is still an induction, but I actually get to go into my practice a few days this week, so that will be nice. Currently it's 6am and I don't really feel like talking that much, so just watch me get ready, I guess. <laughs> Take a chance Live your life for just one night No looking back Cause the night will make you right Can't please feel it Can't hide uh -uh. Can't please feel it Can't hide uh -uh. Basically the plan for today is to go to central London and do an endo day. For this I have taken my real teeth that I showed you guys in my last vlog and I think we're definitely going to be using them this time. Yeah I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to try and be really early again because I just like being early compared to being late. <laughs> So I actually got off at the wrong stop. I got off one stop early, but I'm actually glad I did because look at my view. I'm being such a tourist. <laughs> That was my first day of my second week induction. We had an endo day and it was so useful. Like, I literally can't even explain how useful it was. <sighs> Man, if I learnt that stuff in uni, it would have been pretty good. And everyone was in the same boat. Like, we were like, what? This is how you do endo answers? Yeah, and then we went for drinks afterwards because we were in central London. So we said, let's make the most out of that and everyone is so nice uh, so i'm just really happy to get to know everyone and i had a good day i learned a lot so yeah just a good day overall and no of course i haven't done my e-portfolio today i got home at nine and i had dinner and now i'm just gonna get ready for bed so no i haven't had time to do my e-portfolio and i mean tomorrow is a new day so i'm gonna do it then so guys, I'm having a bit of a lazy day today and I don't look very presentable. So I am just going to show you what I've been up to. So at the moment I'm just going through one of our tasks which is to go over safeguarding. So this one is about FGM and I've already done safeguarding of children, adults and online. And I've just got one more to do I think after this and I'll be done for the day. Find somebody to target, getting weapons, raising 
fronts. Would like to have a listen. Most terrorism should be stopped. Take a chance. Live your life for just one night. No looking back. Good morning. It's my first day going into work today. And I am really excited for it. This morning was a rough start because trying to train a puppy is just so difficult. <laughs> but yeah, we're here. It's fine. So I'm going to do yoga in my room because Leo is too needy if I go downstairs. <laughs> and I'm going to get ready, have some breakfast and leave for work. So I'm finally here and it's actually taken me over 50 minutes to get here and find parking. Uh, I thought it was going to take about 25 but obviously rush hour. <sighs> so yeah I'm just going to head to the practice now and have my induction and I think I'm going to start coming in a lot earlier because this is a bit unproductive for me. I've kind of wasted my whole morning driving around. So I think if I come earlier, maybe sit in a cafe and do some work, that will be more productive. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Reflect on my morning. So basically, lots of unexpected things happened. So one of the dentists wasn't in and I was supposed to have my kind of induction, but everyone was just so busy. I kind of felt like I was in the way, but obviously these things happen and yeah in the morning when I turned up they were busy they were trying to cancel patient appointments because one of the dentists couldn't come in so what's happened so far is I've got a tour of the place and starting to go through over how to use the system that they use how to record notes and the last FD actually left me a few resources which was really really nice so I've just been having a look through those as well and yeah basically my supervisor who was supposed to be giving me the induction she had to fill in and see patients so we haven't really done much today but yeah it's a slow start but I'm sure it will pick up otherwise been a good day just chilling in my car so basically the reason I'm chilling in my car is not because I'm antisocial it's because you're not allowed to congregate in the staff room due to covid so everyone is asked to leave the practice at lunchtime so you can go to a cafe you can go sit in your car you can go to the park do whatever you want but don't congregate in the staff room so that's why i'm sitting in my car but actually i really like it i'm just chilling i'm watching new girl and just having a nice time so i'm gonna be going back soon and i think the rest of the afternoon is gonna be the same literally just going over the induction process the protocols things like that i can't see myself seeing a patient anytime soon but i am gonna be doing this job for the rest of my life so i'm not really in a rush i'd like to be slowly introduced to everything and there's so much going on because of covid i didn't realize how much things have changed and i will talk to you guys about that as i do it myself and learn things myself but yeah there are a lot of rules and regulations there's new consent forms to sign there's new protocols to tell patients about there's new ways of treating patients booking patients new ppe loads of stuff so yeah i think it's going to take a while to get into it but that's fine with me. Okay guys, so that was my first day of work. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was very, very really boring. I was literally, yeah, I was shadowing my ES for, yeah, so I was shadowing my ES for the afternoon. Yeah, it just feels like being in A-level times or being in those university placements where you just sit there and just watch a dentist do stuff. But obviously it's good because now I can see how practice works, like what the process is. So definitely good. I know that the deanery is trying to be cautious because of COVID and stuff. My educational supervisor is like, I'm really sorry it has to be like this, but it does. I think if I was thrown into the deep end, I would be complaining about that as well. So... Good morning, so I'm in Costa at the moment. I arrived at 7.30 today, so an hour and a half early. And I've just been chilling here, doing some work. I've got loads done already, so I think this method is much more productive for me. It also only took me 25 minutes to get here. 
compared to the 50 minutes yesterday. So I'm definitely going to be carrying on with this and at least until I do my MFDS and then after that I'll see if I need to. But yeah, it's been pretty good this morning. So I'm finished for the day and it is four o'clock so I'm just gonna be driving home now and what did I learn today what did I do today me and my supervisor went through my induction list and just went through things like safeguarding policies medical emergency policies and where the stuff's kept basically just a bunch of things that we are required to go over at the beginning when i start so we did all of that we went to the park because you know covid she bought me lunch and yeah it was a nice day oh and also i put my own templates onto the system so now when i start to see patients i can put in my templates and then i can fill them in so just how i'm used to doing it and how i like it overall very productive day i'm really glad i came early in the morning and yeah just good day overall so it's time to go home <laughs> Hey guys, so this week has been really nice and it's actually been more productive, more fun than last week. I've learned a lot, I've made some new friends, I've just had a nice time and today is Saturday so I thought I'd show you guys something really, really, really cute. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you next time. Take a chance Live your life for just one night, no look